In this video, we're going to talk about uh, the second half of section 7.2, trigonometric integrals, and that would be integrating powers of tangent and secant. So one thing that we're going to refer to over and over again in this section is the Pythagorean identity for secant and tangent. So uh, it's given right here. It's tangent squared x plus 1 equals secant squared. So that's one that you're either going to need to memorize or figure out how to get to from another one. And I'll just show you that very quickly. Uh, sine squared plus cosine squared x equals 1, right, is uh, one that everybody should have memorized, right? And so uh, you can get this Pythagorean identity for tangent and secant from the sine squared plus cosine squared one. How you do that is just divide each term in the sine squared plus cosine squared by cosine squared. And then, of course, sine squared over cosine squared would be tangent. Cosine squared over cosine squared would be 1. And then 1 over cosine squared equals secant squared. So, so I have a lot of trouble remembering where the plus 1 goes, but um, I don't ever really worry about it because I know that I can figure it out from this um, formula right here. So, Okay, the very first subject that we want to talk about is integrating powers of tangent. So, so here I have tangent to some um, positive integer power here. So let's take a look at those. First off, you should remember for n equals 1, right, we did this in the substitution section. We showed that the integral of tan x is natural log absolute value of secant x plus c. So this is one that you just you need to memorize if you haven't already, right? You can get it from writing tan as sine over cosine and then doing substitution, but we're going to refer to it often enough that you just, you just need to know it. So, All right, the next power is uh, tan squared. And for this one, what you want to do is use the Pythagorean identity. Tan squared would be equal to secant squared x minus 1. And now both of those are, are really simple integrals, right? The integral of secant squared is tan, and the integral of 1 is x here. And so that's it for tan squared. And uh, in general, when you're talking about powers of tan, a lot of the times uh, you'll split off powers and then use that Pythagorean identity. Like that. All right, so tan cubed. Again, the strategy here is to pull off uh, tan squared, right, from tan cubed, and use the Pythagorean identity on that, secant squared x minus 1. So you can see that's pretty close to what we did for n equals 2. Uh, and then distribute the tan x through the parentheses, and I wind up with uh, two integrals. So this first one right here is a substitution with u equals tan x. And you can see secant squared, right, would be the du there. So that's the derivative of tan. So, so this one winds up to be 1 half tan squared and then minus the integral of tan x, right? That's natural log absolute value of secant x plus some constant c. Okay. So um, for higher powers, and in general, um, you can use uh, the reduction formula. You do not have to memorize this formula, OK? Uh, I just want you to be aware of it, its existence. And, uh, and I'm just going to give you a quick example of how to use it. So you can come up with this formula by using integration by parts, OK? And that's where this formula comes from. But I'm, I'm not going to go through the details on that. Uh, so let's apply the reduction formula to some higher power, tan to the fourth. Really, probably, you know, this one is what you could do is separate off a tan squared and then use the identity again to, uh, to boil that down, potentially. Okay, so here's the reduction formula, right? And in this case, n would be equal to 4. And so we would get tan to the third x over 3 minus the integral of tan squared. And so what the reduction formula does for you is takes a higher power of tan and rewrites it as an integral of a lower power. So if you had a really high power, you might use this repeatedly to boil down the 
uh, bring down the power enough to one that you can do easily. So, and of course we know that the integral of tan squared, that's one that we just did. It was tan x minus x, but this negative sign will change the signs there. And so that's it for tan to the fourth. So that's how you would use the reduction formula to do that. Okay, let's just take a look at a summary of all the powers of tangent here that we talked about. Uh, this one, the first power, again, you need to memorize this one. Okay, for the tan squared one, uh, you don't necessarily need to memorize that. It's more useful to remember the technique that you use to get this, right? In that we change tan squared to secant squared minus 1 using the Pythagorean identity and integrated it that way. And the same thing for tan cubed, right? Remember, you don't need to memorize this, but uh, the technique, recall what we did. We separated off a tan squared, right? And then used the Pythagorean identity, just similar to what we did for tan squared right there. And then don't forget about the reduction formula. Again, you do not have to memorize this for the test or anything. I just want you to know, right, that if you have some a high power of tan that you need integrated, there is this reduction formula out there that you can use. So, and that's it for powers of tangent.